Welcome to your research tutorial about business information. My name is Olivier Charbonneau. I'm here to help you understand how to search, find, and use business information for a Canadian university context. Now, what I'm going to do today with you is go through this two-page handout that I've developed for the purposes of doing this kind of research at Concordia University. And so hopefully, if you can get your hands on this two-page two handout while you're watching these videos, it would be perfect. So if you go to the library website of the Concordia University Libraries, Concordia, library.concordia.ca, go to the research guides by subject. And under business, you have right here the two-page guide, which is going to be my go-to sheet for this kind of, for today's presentation. I prepared this guide with the intention of providing you all the essential information you need for succeeding in your research. Now, the first point I'm going to make, you're probably wondering, why should you go through this session? You know how to use Google, you know how to do research, you've been successful in the past at your various studies, so why would you need this kind of, of, of session? Well, first of all, business information is not as obvious as just finding stuff on the internet. And I'm going to talk a lot about some of the very niche and, and weird and unknown sources that you can use for doing some great work for your papers. The other reason why this is an important training session for you is that although you, th you know how to do research, the expectations at university are different from high school, college, CJEP. And you have to understand that university is no longer about just learning in information and being able to regurgitate it in your exams. The expectation is for you to seek out new knowledge and build on what you know to try to devise a new vision of the world. That's a lot harder than just regurgitating information. So although you feel comfortable about your current skills, you may want to think about what, that, what, what other possibilities are out there for your information diet. So we're going to talk about a lot about the skills, but also the sources that you can use to really succeed at the university level. And that's why this two-pager exists, and that's why we're doing this training session. Now you're probably wondering, well, I know how to use a search engine, I know how to use Google, why do I need a library? It's very simple. I actually can tell you that the library and Google do not compete. That's right. Because although we do the same thing, Although we both allow you to access information, Google provides access, or any search engine for that matter, provides access to information on the free web. Things that are posted on the public internet, the free internet, while the library buys access. So we actually cover two different independent sets of information. So if you're just using Google or you're just using the free web or search engines like Bing or Yahoo or whatever, you're missing out. And whether or not you use the library doesn't matter because you may still muddle along, but you definitely won't have the best experience that you can have at university. And second of all, you have to worry about the person sitting next to you in class using the library and providing for a better, a better paper than what you could do. So. In the end, Concordia University libraries spend over $5 million a year on stuff that is not on the internet. So that's why I'm comfortable about Google. I'm comfortable about, you know, whatever search engine is out there because we just, we do the same thing, but we provide access, both of us, but we provide access in different ways. So that's very simple. So first thing I cover in the handout, just some, some information about how to use the library. For example, you need a password to access all of these databases and everything I'm going to do with you today you can do from home and that's why I thought of doing this video so that you can learn from home how to do and use all these sources. So the library password is pretty simple. You just need um, to you either set up a VPN. So If you go to the library website uh, you have here how to connect to libraries from off campus. So I'll let you read that and set up your computer in the way that you find best. But it's just to mention that you, if you get this, uh, this set up, probably a virtual private network, the VPN is the best option, uh, then you're all set for using all the libraries, uh, the library resources from home. Uh, of, all the, of all the things that I point out on the, on the first part of the, of the handout, I'll mention that if you get a Crepic card, you can borrow books from any university library in Canada. So 
you can go to HSC, McGill, and they can come to us. And that's just a great part about being a university student. You actually have a key that opens up the doors to all of the university libraries in Canada, and that's pretty cool. Now, RefWorks, also on the first part of the handout, is, uh, think of it like the Facebook of bibliographies. Yeah, I'm trying to make it look sexy. RefWorks is a bibliography management tool. So as you're doing research in the library catalog on the various databases like ProQuest and, and, and Academic Search Complete from EBSCO, and you're finding articles, you can send the information up to your RefWorks account. And if you download a plugin called Write and Cite to, to your laptop or computer, then as you're writing your paper, you can take the information from your RefWorks account that you put in from the databases and insert them into your paper. Okay? So if you go to the RefWorks page on the library website, you actually have a help function and you can go and watch some tutorials about how RefWorks works and all that kind of stuff. But it's a way to automate the whole footnoting process. Okay? So I won't cover that in more detail, but I just wanted to mention that you have this tool that we pay for that you can use for free and all you need to do is set up an account and read on the import and export instructions uh, from the RefWorks page. So that's pretty straightforward. And there you go. So my main message is use Google, doesn't matter, but remember you have access to better stuff, cooler stuff, different stuff from the library. And that includes, by the way, music and videos and images and all those other things that you find online. We've just paid for the copyright and you can use them in your paper. There are also things for free online, like for example, under Creative Commons licensing that you can include in your, in your class productions and all that. Uh, but different things, library versus Google. So here we go, using the library with style for business research.